The first thing you'll want to do to get Anchor working with React is you will want to build this program uh, locally. So, just we'll see the in. Uh, and then you can do anchor test to start. And you'll get this Solana program deploy command. And you'll kind of want this. You'll see that it's no, it's targeted at tutorial basic one target, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's essentially the same thing as the code here. Um, and this is the public key you want the program to be deployed at. Uh, I haven't really noticed an issue with doing it for any public key. Uh, this is just kind of my default one, but you can just create a new account somewhere and use your own. And now we have our Solana test validator uh, program deployed locally. You'll notice that there's a test ledger and this will constantly update. Uh, if you delete this, you kind of delete your Solana test program and now we'll get on to adding it to the client real quick this is a minimal repo that i set up there's two things that i want to go over if you go over to our uh, test here you'll notice that it says create and initialize as an account in two different transactions we will probably do that and we will probably also update a previous account in our minimal uh, setup so in order to do that, we need to basically create a provider and a program. So I just loaded up the anchor code to create a provider and program. You'll notice that there's a few variables missing. There's connection missing, there's random IDL missing, and program ID missing. So program ID will refer to the public key we put here. So we can set program ID to be const program ID equals new public key. Bam. And that should work. For a connection, we need to do counts connection. And we need to point this to where our JSON RPC server is. So we will do new connection. Boink. And that should work. And then we need our random IDL. So this, I think, confuses a lot of people. Uh, it confused me for a bit too. And it's probably the cause for most of the bugs you'll see. So ideally, in the near future, there will be some way of automatically syncing up your IDL with your anchor test file. But there currently isn't. So what I like to do is I like to export the entire IDL as a const rather than a JSON. So to do that, I just copy and paste this entire JSON and then do export const random IDL equals them. And then I will have that here. So Cool. So this should load up our anchor. Let's just make sure that works. And then we will move on to actually getting the RPC commands for anchor working. Is anchor working? Yeah. I forgot to install a bunch of really basic things like Project Serum, Anchor, and some of the other uh solana stuff uh it should all be in the package.json now so when you'll look at this repo it shouldn't be an issue uh so i'm gonna do npm start and we're gonna start debugging what's happening uh this is just a connect wallet button to load up anchor for the first time and you don't really need to do this you can pass in an empty object too it might throw a typescript error but we have ts no check so uh, who cares? And you'll have all the code here working. Uh, I'm going to press connect wallet and I'm sure it's going to fail. Yeah. 
because I did not import anything. So let's start doing that. Uh, import anchor from at Solana projects um, anchor. Not contain exports. Oh, hold on. I think we need to use one of those old style things. Um, <sighs> okay, let's see if that works. This uh quite frustrating. Connection is not defined. Uh, okay, so something worked now. Is anchor working? Yeah, so we now have a program. Now that we have Anchor working, we need to actually do stuff with Anchor. So we have a button here that I'm going to use to do some of the Anchor transactions in the tutorial. So let's actually make two buttons. Uh, this will be to init a random account. And I believe that I'll need the public key for that account. So cons e from account equals or set e from account equals e state um to but i don't believe that key will be stored anywhere and we'll make these async i don't really know if that's necessary for this but just something to do and then this is update the account so let's create some functions. Const init account equals this definitely needs to be async. And then const update account equals sync. Okay. And we can go here to the s.js file and we'll look at some of the accounts so there's a wait program that rpc dot initialize new anchor bn one blah 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 my account that public key whatever so let's uh, just copy and paste that and let's put in the public key Oh, I'm missing my account that public key. Put in put in the public key here. Two would be don't think we need anything. And then we'll just run init to count whenever they click the button. And we will also run update account, which I believe is here. So let's just copy this and See if that works too. Uh, actually, let's also before before. 
after 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 okay so and let's change these out I'm sorry if I'm going too fast I'm just changing the public key from from the previous init account to the update account public key and all we need to do now is run update accounts. I actually don't think we need these asyncs just to keep it clean. All right. And let's run this code and see what happens. So we already have a program logged in. So let's press an account. Provider is not provided ah so this is the not the file that i want i want the file with our code so it says provider is not provided um provider is created in the program so you can just destructure your program here and run const provider equals program And I will show you exactly where that's done real quick. It's done here. So you see you create a provider and then you add it to the program. So that's why you can just destructure your provider every single time. It's a required field. And then you can press init account. You'll get a ask to create this account. I believe this will also fail because I didn't deposit Solana into my account. So you want to do Solana airdrop. Yeah, I do. And now if we refresh, we connect to our wallet. We press in at a random account. And then we press update the account. Account does not exist. Mm, I might have I might have not used processed in the connection. Let's, so let's, let's see if this changes it. So this is definitely working. data before okay now we get data now so that that's a good sign data after all right and these should be slightly different the so four three two one one two three four all right i guess you just need to put a commitment processed in a bunch of places uh so by default it will use commitment finalized which means that the transaction would happen like 15 seconds later usually uh, depending on the block size, but if you just do commitment process, it's when the RPC node that you talk to finishes the transaction. So that means it's basically as soon as I fit, press that button, like, and the network hits the RPC. So in two milliseconds, it's there. 